Hey, so uh, time lapse uh, video, uh, meaning that the last time we uh, talked about this little uh, Walbro 485 fuel pump install plus wiring harness um, was about four hours ago, five hours ago. Uh, so here's what we've accomplished since then. There's the engine bay. Well, let's walk over here and show you what we did. So if you'll notice, we have these new quick disconnect positive and negative terminals on there. Um, those are gonna let us, that gives us basically four different contact attachment points for ground and positive 12 volt um, battery. So that's gonna come in handy later. That was not a button push operation um, especially finding this uh, this dress up bolt to fit that that ground chassis ground um, but we did it a lot of washers behind there and then pan over here this is a project uh, underway and this is a, a bracket that we're actually fashioned out of another bracket and this is where we're gonna mount the single pull single throw switch for for the relay on the aeromotive phantom wiring kit that is going to be part due <clears throat> d-e-a-u-x tomorrow so this is where we're at we've got a got the new uh, quick disconnects on there look like some pretty serious contraption-y devices but uh anyway that wasn't it wasn't like just as straightforward as you might think um, I can tell you, I can tell you uh, how I did it um, step by step, but I'm, I'm not one of those people that wants to do a video where you watch me uh, as I try to do uh, s steps and, and do a procedure. I, I prefer to show you what I'm gonna do, uh, kind of talk about if I know how I'm gonna do it. In this case, I did not. Um, and then show you the finished product. So that's what they look like. They're gonna come in really handy. This bracket is gonna is just in a really perfect spot to mount our our uh, fuel pump uh, relay switch, which is also um, a kill switch for the car. So when it's in the off position, there's no fuel pump action. Um, I've wanted one for a long time. It's kind of right out in the open, but you can't just get the hood open on this car. So that's that's part of the reason I want it out in the open where we can see it. And I got a really cool trick looking switch from advanced auto parts that you'll see tomorrow when we continue working on the project that is it for now we're going to fire up the z uh, it's a beautiful day and we're going to go for a drive talk to you soon see ya